This is Darren Colto with another Blender 3D tutorial. We're going to explore the fundamentals of shape key animation in this lesson. Shape keys are different forms that a single mesh object can take on. Shape keys are especially useful for doing things like morphing one object into another. In this lesson, we'll use shape keys to morph a pyramid into a barn. Here are the general steps we'll take to do this morph. First, we're going to build the barn then create two shape keys for it, one of which is the barn. The second key is a pyramid made from the barn's mesh. After making the key, we'll create a short animation that shows the pyramid morphing into the barn. Now let's get started by first making a ground plane for the pyramid and barn to sit on. Open Blender, then drag the cube's blue axis up while pressing Control until the bottom of the cube is even with the grid. This step raises the cube to ground level. Click the Add menu heading, then click the Plane item of the Mesh submenu. This adds a plane to the scene to represent the ground under the barn and pyramid. Click the Scale button located on the header of the 3D view window, then click inside the white circle at the center of the plane. Drag away until your mouse cursor is near the edge of the window to expand the ground plane. Right click the cube to select it, then drag its green axis, which is the y-axis, until the cube's width is doubled in size. You don't have to be exact here, just eyeball it. Click the Mode button's Edit item to enter edit mode for the cube, which we'll now call the barn. Press A to deselect everything, then click the Face Selection button on the 3D View's header. Right-click the barn's top face to select it, then press E, followed immediately by pressing Enter. Pressing E runs the extrude command, which tells Blender to create a second top face directly above or below the original one. Click the mouse inside the white circle, then drag away just a bit before releasing the mouse. This forms the base of the barn's roof. Press E again to run the extrude command a second time. Drag upward slightly, then left click the mouse to complete the roof's height dimension. Click the mesh menu then click the Merge command of the Vertices submenu. Click the option that reads At Center to join the four corners of the top face together at the center of the face to form the roof's peak. This completes the barn. Now we'll reserve two shape keys for it. Click the Mode Controls Object item to leave Edit Mode and re-enter Object Mode. Click the triangle-shaped icon in the header of the Properties sidebar at screen right to open the Object Data context. Click the plus sign in the Shape Keys panel twice to reserve two Shape Keys. The first key, by default, is already occupied by the barn we just made. The second key will be taken up by the pyramid we're going to make now from the same set of vertices that form the barn. Keep in mind that the morph won't work if we add or delete any vertices from the barn. We can only manipulate the existing vertices of the barn's mesh. Type the word Pyramid in the Name text box under the Shape Keys panel to give the second key a tag that will remind us of the form that this key will hold. Re-enter Edit Mode by clicking the Mode Controls Edit item, then press A to select the entire barn. Click the Scale button, then drag the green arrow toward the barn's center until the barn's width shrinks down to about the same size as its depth, then release the mouse. This step makes the pyramid's base squarish, in contrast to the barn's rectangular base. Click the Vertex Selection button on the window header so you can select vertices, then press A to deselect all the vertices. Click the wireframe globe from the viewport shading control in the 3D View's window header. This lets you see through the pyramid so you can select vertices normally hidden by the barn's faces. Click the Select menu's Circle Select item which expands your cursor into a circle that makes selecting those tiny vertices easy. Click the circle on the four corners of the roof and the four inner corners of the base of the barn to select the vertices at these corners. Right-click the mouse to exit circle selection mode. Click the Translate button on the window header, then click on the blue arrow, which is the z-axis. Drag downward as you hold the control key until the pyramid's bottom snaps to the ground plane. Restore the solid view of the scene by clicking the shading controls solid item. 
Return to object mode as you did before to finish the pyramid, which will now morph with the barn. Drag the value slider in the shape keys panel back and forth between its left and right extremes to see the pyramid turn into the barn and then turn back into the pyramid. Now let's create an animation that illustrates this morph. Click the animation item of the layout control in the info windows header. This opens up a host of windows that help us create and manage animations. Click the item labeled shape key editor in the header of the dope sheet window. The shape key editor is where we can set keyframes made of the barn and pyramid keys we just made. Drag the slider labeled pyramid to its extreme right so its value shows 1.0. If you were watching the 3D viewport while you dragged the slider, you noticed the pyramid forming while the barn vanished. Type 100 in the current frame control at the very bottom of the timeline window to advance the current time indicator to frame 100. Type 100 also in the final frame control immediately to the left of the current frame control. This tells Blender that the animation ends at frame 100. Drag the pyramid slider back toward its left extreme until it reads 0.0, .0 watching the 3D viewport as you do so. The barn will reappear and the pyramid disappear. Watch the animation of this change by pressing the play button at the bottom center of the timeline window. Thanks for watching.